News. Welcome to GD News. Hello friends, and welcome to GD News, your number one source for Geometry Dash news. The top story in the news today is that you are stupid for disliking a single style. You heard it here first, folks. That may be rough news to hear, but allow me to educate you as to what you are doing wrong, so that you may leave this video a better person and less stinky. So allow me to start by clarifying that styles in and of themselves are not stupid. Being able to classify GD levels by the primary style they use is a net positive, because saying that something is a design level gives your viewer or the player a general idea as to what your level is going to contain which is a pretty neat thing in and of itself but where issues arise on the user end is when people dog on entire styles just because they don't like a series of levels from it think of it this way if I asked you do you dislike vegetables? A good subset of you would say, yeah, I dislike vegetables. They are bitter and gross and nasty. I want no part in no vegetable. But then if I ask you if you like ketchup, for example, or maybe, you know, lettuce, lettuce on burgers, your answer would change pretty quick. You'd say that for the most part you dislike vegetables, but you like vegetable derivatives and that you like lettuce on your burgers. So applying this back into GD, if I asked you if you dislike Neo Design or perhaps Glow Design levels, you could either like or dislike them. But if I then asked you to elaborate on why you dislike them, a lot of the things that people don't tend to like about them also stem into different styles having the same issues. For example, if you dislike the flashy colors of Neo Design, would you then say that any design level or effect level using intense flashes also is bad? Or maybe if you dislike the emptiness a lot of Neo Design levels might have, how do you feel about modern levels that execute it cleanly? The issue with disliking an entire style is that you're essentially categorizing every level in that group into one thing that you dislike. But as evident from our vegetable example earlier, there will always be exceptions. Now I already know what you're thinking. Oh look at the big man, he rides the fence. He says everything is subjective and you can't categorize everything. But yeah, you can't. What makes a design level? a design level? What makes an art level an art level? Can the two ever overlap? If they overlap, what makes it an art design level? There are too many particulars that you have to pay attention to in order to efficiently categorize every single style that GD has to offer. I'm not saying abandon styles entirely or that, you know, we should use some arbitrary labels, but when you say that you dislike everything from one style, the truth is, you either haven't seen something you liked from it yet, or you're too ignorant to find something that you might like. So then what's the alternative? I think the cleanest way to express your general dislike for a certain style is to clarify what specifically you dislike. So as opposed to saying, I hate glow design because it's super generic, you could say that you prefer levels that have a lot of originality. As opposed to saying you dislike modern levels because they appear to have little effort put into them, you could say that you appreciate thought and effort going into levels instead. So at the end of the day, does this ultimately really matter all that much? Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Every night? I mean, kind of. It is certainly easier to say you dislike a whole style, but if you have a friend who's starting a level in a style you're not particularly fond of, or if you are trying to remain unargumentative on Twitter, it's probably for the better that you tell them specifically what you dislike about it. That doesn't mean they'll do anything to change it, but it does mean that your voice is heard. So what they hear is that you're not fond of levels that you can't exactly sight read, as opposed to FUCKING MEMORY LEVEL BLOCK! And with that, I conclude today's episode of GD News. I would greatly appreciate if you liked and subscribed. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. So I'll be seeing you all in like three years. Or maybe three minutes, we're not sure. Ciao!